Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of Hitman World of Assassination. We, uh, previous episode, we finally finished uh, the Dubai level, all the challenges, silent assassin, master difficulty level. Not suit only yet, but um, yeah, I will focus on suit only later on. Um, now we are going to go to Darth War, one of the levels that I'm really looking forward to, together with Haven Island, New York, and um, yeah, that's basically it. Maybe Sapienza, but for now, that are my favorite levels. Um, let's watch the cinematic one more time. At the end of the previous episode, we uh, briefly or let it run, but let's now uh, watch it again and then also read the character bio of the target and then we will be starting to explore uh, Dartmoor. And also to note in the previous episode, because the game crashed incredibly often in Dubai, it was super annoying. Also sometimes taking the whole PC with it, corrupting the recording footage, etc. I read that if you put uh, display mode to full screen instead of exclusive full screen. God damn it. This music is way too loud in my headset. I hardly hear myself. Anyways, if you put the, uh, this to full screen instead of exclusive full screen, that it then um, fixes the crashing. And it, it indeed made a difference, I think. It also felt snappier. But what I did find is that the colors were much more washed out. And also that full screen, because that's the other option, this one, it's actually not full screen, it's just borderless window. And this is uh, windowed, this is uh, a borderless window, this is real full screen. So it's just also a very confusing terminology or naming uh, scheme, because it is not full screen. And uh, I am going, hopefully this level just crashes less. It could well be that it crashes again. If it crashes a lot, then I will probably revert to full screen, that borderless window. But for now, I prefer exclusive full screen because the colors look much richer. At least, uh, I'm not sure whether it makes a difference in the YouTube, uh, in the recorded uh, recording footage for YouTube. But um, for me playing it, it looks much better in exclusive full screen, much more vibrant colors. It almost looks like HDR is not working uh, fully when you go into a uh, borderless window. Anyways, that's a little sidestep. Let's watch the cinematic. If that's your winning face, I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the Constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once, we can do it again. And, well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look, you don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did... She'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. 
Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. Holy shit. Holy shit. Heavy, heavy uh, intricacies and plot lines, etc. etc. Anyways, um, here we go. We will be using the standard uh, loadouts as always. I do like his uh, suit, it's like a tweed, tweed jacket, I think it's called. I'm not sure. Um, let's read the character bio. bio. Alexa Carlyle. The Carlyle family is of ancient English origin. Their earliest known ancestor was knighted during the War of the Roses. And for centuries the Carlyles lived a comfortable but quiet, quiet existence among the rural nobility, far removed from the halls of power. His old changed in the 1850s when the shrewd and enterprising Ishabo Carlyle turned a fortune in the Second Opium War and subsequently established a global business empire in shipping railroads and newspaper publishing. They maintained strong ties to the crown, securing lucrative contracts throughout the yet powerful British Empire. The yet powerful or still powerful during the 20th century, the Carlyles invested heavily in transportation and broadcasting and to this day the Carlyle Group manages a diverse portfolio of shipping and logistics companies, airlines, newspapers and cable networks such as TNN. It's pretty interesting. You have a real, li a real life Carlyle Group, which is also a very diversified group with interest in many uh, different industries, I think. So it's probably a reference to the real life Carlyles. In the aftermath, in the aftermath of uh, Second World War, Thomas Alexander Carlyle saw an opportunity to take an unprecedented control of the flailing global markets. To take unprecedented control of the flailing global markets, approaching the heirs to the Stuyvesant and Ingram empires, both college fraternity brothers. Thomas proposed pooling their already vast assets and resources and establishing the corporate superstructure that would henceforth be known as Providence. Ever since the Carlyles have retreated from public view and few outside the English arist aristocracy recognize the name. The family is immensely wealthy but their true currency is influence. In recent decades the Carlyles have been invested, investing heavily in technology companies playing a large but unseen role in the rise of social media in the post-truth era. Thus, crucial provenance assets such as Ethercorp, Biotech, Kronstadt Industries, Robotics, Dynasty Global, Online Retail and Quantum Leap Consumer Tech are all largely controlled by the Carlyle family. Um, Alexa Carlyle 75, the current head of the family, is the most senior provenance partner in the power cabal's unofficial leader. Cold as ice and sharp as a razor, Alexa is a regal, proud and dignified. Alexa is regal, proud and dignified and displays the kind of blunt rudeness that only people of nobility get away with. In her youth, Alexa was married to the aristocratic naval officer Lyndon James Whit Whittingworth, with whom she has three children, Gregory, Edward and Rebecca. Lyndon, by then an accomplished alcoholic, <laughs> died in an automobile accident in 1978 and Alexa never remarried. A second born child, Alexa never expected to become head of a family. Of family. That responsibility would befall the first born son, Alexa's older brother, Montgomery. Instead, graduating first in class of Cambridge, Alexa made a meteoric rise within the male dominated shipping industry of the 1970s, determined to succeed by marriage alone. But soon tragedy befell the Carlyle family, changing Alexa's trajectory forever. Her older brother Montgomery took a fatal tumble from a balcony at Carlyle's ancestral estate, and his death hit the youngest sibling, Zachary Hart. Following a mental breakdown and institutionalization, Zachary abandoned his own promising career and shielded himself at Thornbridge Manor, where he has lived quietly as a recluse ever since. 
I would like to be a recluse with a gaming computer. You can, I would have no problem going recluse in a manor. Fresh out of capable male heirs, Thomas Carlyle had no choice but to fast track. So Thomas is the one, yeah, that uh, started it all. Thomas Carlyle had no choice but to fast track Alexa to become the new head of family and by extension a future partner of Providence. Alexa took to her new apprenticeship with ruthless ambition and an uncanny knack for geopolitical manipulations, quickly becoming the key architect behind Providence's expansion into non-Western territories. She played a hand in orchestrating the War of the Falklands in a ploy to dethrone the military junta and along with the first constant, Janus, she shrewdly played both sides of the Cold War to Providence's advantage. In the 1960s, her father had backed an obscure Romanian research facility, the Institute for Human Betterment, which operated a cutting-edge human enhancement program, and Alexa was instrumental in turning the Institute into a proper assassination service, not to mention the eventual wipe of its subjects. <coughs> That's where 47 and Agent 6, Mr. Gray, uh, were uh, raised or um, held captive. A decision which would one day cost her dearly. As Thomas grew older and slowly succumbed to Alzheimer's, Alexa gained more and more responsibility. She finally assumed the position as full providence partner in 1988. For more than three decades, she was secretly the most powerful woman on earth. But now, the Tectonic plates of power are shifting. Of the three partners, only Alexa sees the writing on the wall. Realizing with a trademark lack of sentimentality that Providence is lost to the machinations of their top controller, Arthur Edwards. All that is left now is to preserve the Carlyle family legacy and perhaps to die with dignity. All right, interesting story. Again, quite long. We have to find a case file. Alexa Carlyle has compiled a case file on Arthur Edwards. You need to find it. Let's watch this video. Oh, we just watched it. One, I think. Ah, no, this is the other one. She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlyle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlyle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlyle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlyle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlyle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlyle keeps a case file on the constant, information that may be helpful in his recapture, so don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Cool. Really looking forward to this level. Um, here we go.
Thornbridge Manor, the Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The Revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. Right, how does she know that 47 is coming? coming? By the way, incredibly cool uh, bike. An L Bane or something? Oh, wrong one. Yes, an L Bane. A pretty cool uh, cafe racer uh, kind of bike, I would say. This whole uh, vibe of this level really jives with me. Um, much more than Dubai. Uh, the superficial splendor and glamour of the, the gold-plated walls of that Dubai tower. Well, the, the whole Dubai Middle East oil money, it's really uh, not my thing. Anywho, um, What I was thinking, ah, yes, before going in, let's get a quick peek. First, need to make sure that the descriptions are turned off. First, I want to try to figure out challenges myself, just going by the, the icons of them without title or description. So let's turn this off. Only sometimes they are really impossible to figure out yourself based on the icon. Uh, picture alone so then uh, all at the end of the playthrough i will probably uh, have to, for some challenges have to put it on to know what to do because it can be very random um, but for now let's take a quick peek so 12 assassination 19 discovery feeds 21 targets one the classics two out of 14 that's weird Earlier, I don't know how this works. I think in Dubai, I actually had more than two out of 14 already. So I'm really not sure how this worked, how this carries over and stuff. I do think it's persistent across levels because I didn't do anything in this level yet and I already have 12 silent assassin challenges. Um, anywho, so we can probably poison something we can do something with a funeral picture. We can drop a big uh, beer uh, horns or whatever they're called in English. Uh, one, let me, antlers, I think they are. We can drop her in a grave. We can use a sniper rifle. We can, I don't know, just shoot somebody with the uh, ICA-19 it's called yes um, this is the versatile as um, assassin challenge if you do all these so that is accidents drowning headshots garret and lethal we will be doing those so the kill opportunities there are all the icons they seem to be quite straightforward and there are actually not that many kill opportunities if you discard these standard ones which are in each level you have one two three four five six all right then we have discovery coins probably we have to find coins we have to do that side story, I think, as the investigator. That's what I really look forward to. There is some murder mystery or something going on here. That we can uh, take the place of that private detective. Uh, this one, I have no idea. This is probably just an exit um, from a pier or something. It looks like a wooden pier, maybe at a river or something. Uh, 
this is looks like a kill opportunity but some kind of a unicorn some kind of a key that we have to find this is a shortcut just like a, a letter this is probably taking the private investigator disguise this is probably an exit this is getting all the uh, wearing all the disguises another shortcut this one I'm not sure what he's at what he carries in his hand is that a stick a fire um, place poker is that is that a word fire poker in the never in Dutch it is uh, one moment just making that uh, learning moment fire poker fireplace pokers yes I do think it's an English word as well I'm not sure what he is uh, if he's carrying anything but this is probably a secret uh, passageway behind a cupboard or something a bookcase this is again something to do with that investigation or is this a difference Yes, th this is one. This is the PI uh, disguise. This is a different disguise. I think this may be one of the family members or something. He looks a bit like uh, a hipster, so probably it's one of the rich family members. This is just an exit by boat. This is some kind of um, walking cane, I think, that we can find. Another um, disguise. A gun cabinet that we can discover, another exit by bike, um, the funeral master or however that is called, um, uh, disguise, and then this is probably also an exit in the hearse. So it's quite uh, doable. Alright, this is some kind of a feat with uh, a dog painting, no idea what, maybe we can drop it. We have to make uh, a picture of a servant lady with uh, a security guy, maybe a hidden romance. We have to do something with uh, this. Uh, clearer, clearer, my God. I'm not sure what's on this. Uh, that. Um, band that he's wearing but anyways we have to do something with this uh, master of ceremonies or funeral master this is peeking through a wall in the uh, hole in the wall this is again being a private investigator taking a family picture uh, maybe taking somebody out who is playing a piano Ah, this is that that um, what I thought was the disguise of a hipster, a family member. I think it's the disguise of the photographer. So this is probably just take uh, a family picture, and if you then take his disguise, you also have that disguise challenge uh, all at once. Uh, this is I don't know who this is. We have to do something with this guy. Uh, this is probably a family member. Um, we, I don't know, maybe play some pool or whatever. No idea. This one is also very vague. So th these looks like maybe a secret entrance down below. I don't know, but this really are the ones that if you, they really don't give a lot of clues. So unless it's clear from the, the gameplay situations uh, that it makes sense, there's, uh, eventually no other way that is put on the descriptions or at least first the title of the challenge that can also bear a hint in itself um, here we have to run through some dialogue with her as a private investigator i guess here we have to i don't know go to a funeral here we have to hack a laptop maybe or change uh, a meeting place or time the calendar there is some bell uh, servant bell I guess in the house that we can use or must use for the challenge 
this one is again super vague compared to this one what's the difference between this picture as regards to a clue or indication of what to do and this one it's both 47 in a detective disguise talking with Alexa Carlisle Right, this is the uh, photographer again. So we have already two with that photographer. So again, a bit fake. What the difference is between those challenges. This is another picture that we need to take of Alexa near the casket. Uh, maybe we have to shoot some bird nests. Uh, we have to use a hammer to take somebody down, I guess. And we have to use chemistry sets to set up a kill opportunity or something. Alright, this is the target we already know, and these are the classics. So that is Silent Assassin, Sniper Assassin, Suit Only, and maybe also Silent Assassin Suit Only. This is, I think, Suit Only. Um, yeah, I have no clue. This is. This is Sniper Assassin. This is maybe, or this one, Suit Only Silent Assassin. No, this is Sniper Assassin, and what the hell is this one? I find it so confusing. Um, ah, wait, this is it. So there are three of these. Three of these and three of these. This is Sniper Assassin, so five challenges in Sniper Assassin, 12 and 18 or 17, I don't know. This, uh, I think, is Silent Assassin Snoo Suit only. So that's with the red outline. This is Silent Assassin, three times. Ah, no, red means that you have the most challenges than you have here. This goes from light gray, dark gray, red. Light gray, dark gray, red. So that is how often challenges you have within that category. So uh, then we have here the weapon pointed down. Man, this is so fucking fake. What the hell is this one? And this one is the same as these three. So you can for this one category, this category, and this category, Sniper Assassin, this one, and Silent Assassin, you can get 5, 12, and 18 or something. But why isn't then here also Sniper Assassin? Uh, that's probably if you have Sniper Assassin done, without challenges, you get this one. So this one is not cumulative, this one is per level. These ones are persistent throughout the levels, this just adds up. In whatever level you get challenges as being a Silent Assassin, it will probably count towards these ones. So this is all, the last nine ones are cumulative. And then over here, so this is Sniper Assassin. This one I don't know, this one I also don't know, this one I don't know, yeah. I'm gonna put on the description because I need to get that in my head one time. Um, full. So we have suit only. Ah, I could have figured that out myself. It's a picture of a suit. Silent Assassin suit only. All right, so that's the one uh, crouched down. Silent Assassin suit only. The classics. Ah, so you have to do all the classics in the level and then you get uh, this collective challenge, so to say. This is Silent Assassin and this is Sniper Assassin. So Silent Assassin, Sniper Assassin, all of the classics, Silent Assassin suit only and suit only. 
So basically, you have four uh, classic challenges: suit only, silent assassin, suit only. Silent Assassin and Sniper Assassin. But then what I don't understand is why with these cumulative ones isn't there one for suit only? It, it, it's all so random in this game. Everything is convoluted in this menu. Why would you have four classics and you only have cumulative uh, counting for challenges done within a category, like Silent Assassin, Silent Assassin, Suit Only, Sniper Assassin. Why wouldn't you have that as well for Suit Only? I have no clue. Maybe I'm overlooking something obvious. Probably I am, but uh, yeah, it comes over to me, this whole... It's, it's not the worst, but... I think they should revamp this uh, interface. This is not so, not so bad, but it's mostly this one where you have to. Nah, it's this is also not that bad. Although I would make the scrolling left and right a little bit less, maybe, maybe combine some stuff. But here, for instance, what I find super confusing is these challenges, feet, and discovery. Which uh, okay, there is some distinction between them, but. Okay, maybe it's, it's not that bad, but also, especially the main menu when you load into the game. So not this in-game menu, but the main menu. I find that one with challenges and times, the, the, the elusive targets, and it's, it's a total mess. Which is really weird, because there are really smart people working at IOI. Otherwise they couldn't build such a cool game, but... The guy who is in charge, or the woman, whoever, or the team that does the interface, they really should get some, uh, should should use their own interface a bit more. Then they will know that it's a super annoying interface. Way too convoluted. Anyways, um, a lot much more talking and babbling than I uh, anticipated, sorry for that. I am immediately going to try and get some uh, costumes each time I come buy a new costume, like now. With those coppers for security. I will try... To... Uh, to get the costume. Hopefully. Oh, and who might you be? Right, how does he suddenly stop me? I was in a shrubbery. So right, there you have the uh, investigator. We could have maybe immediately, Phineas immediately got him. Private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right. In. That is Phineas Whitmer. The private investigator summoned by Alexa Carlyle has arrived at the estate. The famous private investigator <coughs> hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Yeah, exactly. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Exactly. Damn. Go and check it out. Come on, go. For sure. Excellent. Good job. Hey, you! What the Get hell? Your filthy ass. Come on! Come on! Got it. Okay, this is what I mean. How is he... If you're hidden in shrubbery, he should not be able to look through shrubbery, right? a little bit annoying. So maybe if I take him down a little bit more away from... Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. The wall. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. 
Please wait. Miss oh, man. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm okay, curious thanks. why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself. That's good. No. You can go right in. What on earth do you think you're doing? That's what, you ah, what the hell? These shrubberies are simply not working here. What what the hell is up with that? That's really inconsistent. Right, then we will... Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. Take another approach. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Huh? Man, these coins are... Um, I'll get to the bottom of this. Effective. Okay, now go do your job. Oh, it's so annoying if they don't yeah, hear the second strange. one. We might have a situation. I'll check the perimeter. Over. What the hell? Go th through it, my man. Sweet. That is Finn. Jesus, man, how hard can this be? Seriously. Also, the fact that they don't enter that shrubbery. How hard can it be to take out one guard? Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Wait. Stand back, let me do my job. That is Phineas okay, Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe up. you and there really should do some detecting yourself, 47. Getting into the huh? strawberry. Only the signs. Gala 6 moving in on possible enemy target. Over. Which does make sense. Ah, no, they do get in as well. Ah. Uh, Fuck me, man. So I got spotted. I saw it because the screen grayed out. This is a private area, sir. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. All right, I will do it the uh, Mr. Whitmer is here to see annoying uh, way. And Carlyle. You can go right in. Hey? That is Phineas Whitmer, okay, the famous private investigator back, hired by Madame Carla this Thank morning. You, I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you Beautiful. should do some detecting yourself, 47. Uh huh. Yeah, Command, there's some kind of rackets down here. I'm having a look around. Ah, so the other guy is not an enforcer, actually. Here, again, what is the... what the fuck, man? This is not a good start of this level, I must say. I'm in the shrubbery. Please! Thornbridge man. Be a bit consistent. In every other Hitman level up until now, in the shrubbery, you are mostly unseen. This is a private area, sir. Phineas Whitmer. Private investigator. Super I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Hmm? Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Hmm? Oh, cool. Nice. Why? Oh, fuck. 
Fuck this game, man. Fuck this game. I'm throwing a second coin to that left guard and he doesn't hear it. It happens so often that you throw a second one and it is simply totally ignored. God damn it, man. How fucking hard can this be? Are you fucking kidding me? This is a private area, sir. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. That is it's Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, what? 47. Zulu, take point. Understood. Hmm. Dispatch, I just heard something fishy. Nice. Hmm. What are you up oh, to? Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck me, man. Oh, fuck. This is one of those game moments that the stars just don't align and every fucking thing goes wrong. This is a private area, sir. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an Sorry appointment with Madame Carlyle. Sorry for my Please wait. negative uh, mood. Sometimes that happens. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Hmm. Huh? Oh, what the fuck? Hello? Why? Oh, my fuck. Why didn't that guy to the right walk? He heard it. Why didn't he go to that first coin? Oh... 15 minutes of messing about... Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with... Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator Hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Man. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Uh, you want to have a look? Affirmative. What? All right. <coughs> Man, get the wind. Oh. Well, look around. Oh. Who, who's the choke me? Hold? Alright, I don't even think it are these guys. There is somebody else spotting me. That guy was literally looking in another direction. So you tell me, who the fuck is spotting me here? This is a private area, sir. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame... Wow, this is totally frustrating. Are there snipers or something? Go right in. Fuck this game. Big time. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator right. ah, hired by Madame Carla this morning. It the guys I'm over curious there. why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. All right, at least I know why I'm getting spotted. I didn't see that, those guys. Huh, strange. Got some strange noises here. Looking into it, over. Guys, done. 
sorry for my uh, mood and my cursing, but it really, I was just stupid. I didn't see those guys over there. All right, where the hell's my coin, peoples? Did I pick it up? Yes. Apparently I did. I do not envy you. Alright, hiding a body here, I don't think is uh, foolproof. Because that guy actually saw. This is, these bushes are, I think, not as good cover compared to that, those red strawberries over there. But whatever, I'm just uh, exploring a bit. All right, so we have a car, we have a lake over there, or a, a pond. we cannot access we can I assume scale this wall ah we cannot that's weird we can do so over here uh, can we cross the stream I doubt it this is probably an invisible wall I do like the lilies. I really would like to at one point visit these highlands in England or Scotland, wherever this is. Right, how is our disguise? Just pretty generic security jacket. What the hell, what did I see here? Right, are these enforcers? Yes. Yes. At least one is suspicious. A little bit. Alright, we can get over the stream over here. By the way, let's check out the map. Holy shit, pretty big. Ah, but not that big. It's still pretty uh, clear and also not like. 10 levels, I like it. A little bit more focused. I like it a lot. Compared to all the uh, other levels like Mumbai and even Dubai, I found quite confusing with the two towers. There's a little tower on the third floor which is really quite small so basically we only have three levels in the mansion and we have a side building and we have a garden i like it nice architecture dark green moss I like that as well I like this this whole aesthetic my kind of thing a cup of tea and just checking out the outdoors 
hatchet always handy. Well, I cannot uh, holster it. All right, no trespassing. So that's another way to cross the stream. All right, let's see if we can get to that. Uh, building over there and then I have to end the episodes because I am already over the 45 minute marker if I were Madame Carlyle give the whole ground an overhaul yes there's so much to do before the funeral tomorrow and the woman isn't even dead it's too bad we're not allowed to tell. That would make a great story at the pub tonight. Shh. It's not funny, Matt. If anyone hears you... All right. I would, if I were Miss Carlisle with limitless means, I would fix that wall. First, check out the perimeter in these. Yes. Hotel booked, car packed, all ready to go when I got the call. The wife has tears in her eyes. But you don't say no to Madame Carlyle. Maybe someone should. This whole fake funeral tomorrow is taking it a bit far. I'm glad I'm not one of her kids. They have to pretend their mother is dead in front of a lot of people. I thought you were kidding when you told me. Steve says the Undertaker is having a fit. He didn't even know the fake service either. By the way, I forgot to, I think, hide that first guard that I took out, his body. I'm an idiot. You know what? I will quickly hide it, just also to get a feel of how big the level is. Almost like a Dark Souls uh, building. Looking forward to finishing Dark Souls 3, by the way. Uh, I did. Uh, he's a little bit in a bush, but it's better hidden over here. Now, let's quickly get to that house over there. Or building, whatever it is. All right, gardener's outfit is also an outfit. Let's quickly get a gardener's outfit. God damn it. Hmm? What the hell was that? I also do like it that these very British Don't mess with me. I'm tired of this shit. These very <laughs> British uh, voice actors, they finally feel Hello? in place compared to when you hear them in Mumbai or Dubai they are all the same British voice actors and over here they fully feel at home 
Right, new disguise. allowed over there as a gardener? That is the big question. Alright, there is the hearse, or at least several cars. What are you doing out here, Lars? I'm afraid not. Good luck then. I die in the autumn. I love autumn funerals. Madame Carlyle isn't dead, so there is no funeral. Not if you ask me. Well, I still think it's going to be a beautiful service. Well, I've sided with the Undertaker on this one. He's wrong pretending to be dead. Some things you don't mess with, not even if you're filthy rich. Right, um... Brick is always handy. Let's explore this structure in the next episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you there. And for the meantime, do not forget always to keep on gaming. Later.